Let's look more at these bilateral ties with Peter Haken. He's President Emeritus and Senior Fellow at the Inter-American Dialogue. Peter, welcome to our program. It's a pleasure to be here. So the United States, Colombia's biggest trading partner, I'm going to give you some numbers, invested almost $2.5 billion, with a B, in Colombia. China invested $32 million. Big difference there. Is Ivan Duque basically hoping to change those numbers with this visit? Well, I presume that Ivan Duque is following the lead of other presidents in Latin America, watching other countries uh, attract uh, rather large amounts of Chinese investment. Uh, but Colombia has been very pro-U.S. Well, that is exactly the, the issue. Uh, Colombia is the one country that really has to juggle the United States versus uh, China, in, in, and particularly now. Uh, you know, a country like Brazil or Chile, they have a long-standing relationship with China. And as much as the U.S. is wary of that and uh, unhappy about that, uh, it realizes that to, to make any major changes would be very costly. Uh, with Colombia, it's just starting, really, and it's, uh, there's a lot of opportunity given Colombia's agricultural production, its minerals, etc. I mean, Colombia has a lot of opportunities. Are we going to see, Peter, any concrete agreements and proposals between Colombia and China in terms of trade and investment during this trip? Well, I suspect that they will start. Uh, they, the discussions, at least. Yeah, and uh, there may be one or two items that have already been negotiated that the president of Colombia and the Chinese premier can sign off on. But by and large, it's not going to be intense negotiations there. It's going to be sort of the formal, symbolic, mm -hmm. uh, celebratory. And uh, I think it will be a, a, an important communication, if you like, for the, you know, that, you know, Colombia is open to Chinese investment, and this will, will verify that. You talked about Colombia having to juggle this relationship on one side, China, on the other side, the United mm -hmm. States. Talk about the geopolitical talk of war. I mean, as you mentioned, Colombia is surrounded by uh -huh. countries that get a lot of money and investment by China. The U.S. Right. does not like that. In fact, it has called it a debt trap. Right. Does U.S. have valid concerns here? Well, yeah, and the countries themselves have some valid concerns that uh, China is lending too much money. It's uh, really China that has a strategy for investment and trade, and the Latin American countries are the takers. They're not helping shape this. On the other hand, the, uh, the fact that uh, much of the Latin American trade is managed by private companies, it's not government to government, and in fact, much of what the Chinese are, are doing in Latin America is private companies as well. Uh, yeah, this is a problem, but, you know, it's been a problem for, for countries receiving investment and countries uh, offering investment for many years. Uh, China just happens to be a country that's growing. It's getting more important in Latin America. It's now the leading trade partner for uh, South America, for Brazil, for uh, Argentina, or very close in Argentina, Peru, and uh, Colombia is trailing because of, I think mostly Colombia has had more dependence on the U.S. It's received lots of aid. Well, let me ask you about that. How much do you think President Trump's <coughs> protectionist policies, if you will, how much has that impacted the economy of Colombia in terms of employment in terms of the manufacturing sector? I don't think a great deal. I mean, uh, that the uh, U.S. and Colombia have been rather close over the years. There's a bipartisan approach to Colombia, recognize the, the grave problems of the uh, insurgency that are now supposedly over, but that now it's rebuilding rural areas, etc. Let me move on to Beijing. My colleague sure. Gas has a question for you as well. Gas, go ahead. All right, Peter, hello from Beijing. I just want to expand on what you said about Colombia being open to China investment. We understand officials from Colombia have expressed interest in China's Belt and Road Initiative. How will this benefit both countries if a deal is made? 
Well, uh, almost all the countries in South America are exporters of primary goods, and China is a huge importer of primary goods. Almost all of them are suffering from a lack of uh, sufficient infrastructure. It costs a lot of money to get uh, their products from uh, the mines or the fields to the ports, etc. And the fact is China has been investing uh, quite a bit in uh, transportation and ports and railroads, etc. And this means quite a bit for Latin America if it's uh, done uh, uh, with a degree of, of strategy and intelligence. All right. Thanks, Peter, for those uh, insights.